In game theory, a cooperative game or coalitional game is a game with competition between groups of players, coalitions, due to the possibility of external enforcement of cooperative behavior e.g. through contract law. Those are opposed to non-cooperative games in which there is either no possibility to forge alliances or all agreements need to be self-enforcing e.g. through credible threats. Cooperative games are often analyzed through the framework of cooperative game theory, which focuses on predicting which coalitions will form, the joint actions that groups take and the resulting collective payoffs. It is opposed to the traditional non-cooperative game theory which focuses on predicting individual players' actions and payoffs and analyzing Nash equilibria. Cooperative game theory provides a high-level approach as it only describes the structure, strategies and payoffs of coalitions, whereas non-cooperative game theory also looks at how bargaining procedures will affect the distribution of payoffs within each coalition. As non-cooperative game theory is more general, cooperative games can be analyzed through the approach of non-cooperative game theory the converse does not hold provided that sufficient assumptions are made to encompass all the possible strategies available to players due to the possibility of external enforcement of cooperation. While it would thus be optimal to have all games expressed under a non-cooperative framework, in many instances insufficient information is available to accurately model the formal procedures available to the players during the strategic bargaining process, or the resulting model would be of too high complexity to offer a practical tool in the real world. In such cases, cooperative game theory provides a simplified approach that allows the analysis of the game at large without having to make any assumption about bargaining powers. Topic: Mathematical definition. A cooperative game is given by specifying a value for every coalition. Formally, the coalitional game consists of a finite set of players. N. Display style N. Called the grand coalition and a characteristic function. V. Two. N. R. Display style v two carrot n two math bound r. From the set of all possible coalitions of players to a set of payments that satisfies v equals zero. Display style v empty set equals zero. The function describes how much collective payoff a set of players can gain by forming a coalition, and the game is sometimes called a value game or a profit game. Conversely, a cooperative game can also be defined with a characteristic cost function C two N R Display style C two carrot N two math bound R satisfying C equals zero Display style C empty set equals zero in this setting, players must accomplish some task, and the characteristic function c c represents the cost of a set of players accomplishing the task together. A game of this kind is known as a cost game. Although most cooperative game theory deals with profit games, all concepts can easily be translated to the cost setting. Harsanyi dividend The Harsanyi dividend named after John Harsanyi, who used it to generalize the Shapley value in 1963 identifies the surplus that is created by a coalition of players in a cooperative game. To specify this surplus, the worth of this coalition is corrected by the surplus that is already created by subcoalitions. To this end, the dividend d v S display style d underscore v s of coalition s display style s in game v display style v is recursively determined by d v i equals v i d V I J equals V I J minus D V I 
minus d v j d v i j k equals v i j k minus d v i j minus d v i k minus d v j k minus d v i minus d v j minus d v K D V S equals V S minus T S D V T display style begin aligned D underscore V I and equals V I D underscore V I J and equals V I J D underscore V I D underscore V J D underscore V I J K and equals V I J K D underscore V I J D underscore V I K D underscore V J K D underscore V I D underscore V J D underscore Score V K and V D O T S D underscore V S and equals V S sum underscore T subset Q S D underscore V T end aligned and explicit formula for the dividend is given by D V S equals T S minus one S T V T text style D underscore V S equals sum underscore T subset Q S minus one carrot S set minus T V T the function D V two N R Display style D underscore V two carat N two math bound R is also known as the Mobius inverse of V two N R Display style V two carat N two math bound R. Indeed, we can recover V Display style v from d v display style d underscore v by help of the formula v s equals t s d v t Text style V S equals sum underscore T subset X S D underscore V T. Harsanyi dividends are useful for analyzing both games and solution concepts, e.g. the Shapley value is obtained by distributing the dividend of each coalition among its members, i.e. the Shapley value Phi I V Display style Phi underscore I V a player I display style I in game V display style V is given by summing up a player's share of the dividends of all coalitions that she belongs to Phi I V equals s n I element of s D V S S text style phi underscore i v equals sum underscore s subset n i in s d underscore v s s. Topic duality. Let v display style v be a profit game. The dual game of v display style v is the cost game v display style v caret asterisk defined as v s equals v n minus v n s s n 
Display style v caret asterisk s equals v n v n set minus s foral tilde s subset ek n. Intuitively, the dual game represents the opportunity cost for a coalition s display style s of not joining the grand coalition n display style n. A dual profit game c. Display style c caret asterisk can be defined identically for a cost game c. Display style c. A cooperative game and its dual are in some sense equivalent, and they share many properties. For example, the core of a game and its dual are equal. For more details on cooperative game duality, see, for instance, Bilbao 2000. Subgames Let S N Display style S subset Q N be a non empty coalition of players. The subgame V S two S R Display style V underscore S two carrot S two mathbound R on S display style S is naturally defined as V S T equals V T T S display style V underscore S T equals V T foral tilde T subset ek S in other words, we simply restrict our attention to coalitions contained in S. Display style S. Subgames are useful because they allow us to apply solution concepts defined for the grand coalition on smaller coalitions. Topic: <laughs> Properties for characterization. Topic: Superadditivity. Characteristic functions are often assumed to be superadditive. Owen, 1995, p. 213. This means that the value of a union of disjoint coalitions is no less than the sum of the coalition's separate values. V. S. T. V. S. Plus. V. T display style v s cup t g e q v s plus v t whenever s t n display style s t subset ek n satisfy s t equals display style s cap t equals empty set Monotonicity Larger coalitions gain more S T V S V T Display style S subset ek T right arrow V S L E Q V T This follows from superadditivity, i.e. if payoffs are normalized so singleton coalitions have zero value. Topic: Properties for simple games. A coalitional game V is considered simple if payoffs are either one or zero, i.e., coalitions are either winning or losing. Equivalently, a simple game can be defined as a collection W of coalitions, where the members of W are called winning coalitions and the others losing coalitions. It is sometimes assumed that a simple game is non-empty or that it does not contain an empty set. However, in other areas of mathematics, simple games are also called hypergraphs or Boolean functions, logic functions A simple game W is monotonic if any coalition containing a winning coalition is also winning, that is, if S element of W in W and 
S T display style S subset T imply T element of W display style T in W a simple game W is proper if the complement opposition of any winning coalition is losing that is if S element of W display style S in W implies n s w display style n set minus s note and w a simple game w is strong if the complement of any losing coalition is winning that is if s w display style s note and w implies n s element of w display style n set minus s in w if a simple game w is proper and strong then a coalition is winning if and only if its complement is losing that is s element of w display style s in w iff n s w display style n set minus s note and w if V is a collisional simple game that is proper and strong, V S equals one minus V N S display style V S equals one V N set minus S for any S. A veto player, vetoer in a simple game is a player that belongs to all winning coalitions. Supposing there is a veto player, any coalition not containing a veto player is losing. A simple game W is weak collegial if it has a veto player, that is, if the intersection W equals S element of W S display style big cap W equals big cap underscore S in W S of all winning coalitions is non-empty. A dictator in a simple game is a veto player such that any coalition containing this player is winning. The dictator does not belong to any losing coalition. Dictator games in experimental economics are unrelated to this. A carrier of a simple game W is a set T n display style T subset n such that for any coalition S we have S element of W display style S in W IFF S T element of W display style S cap T in W when a simple game has a carrier any player not belonging to it is ignored a simple game is sometimes called finite if it has a finite carrier even if n is infinite the Nakamura number of a simple game is the minimal number of winning coalitions with empty intersection. According to Nakamura's theorem, the number measures the degree of rationality, it is an indicator of the extent to which an aggregation rule can yield well defined choices. A few relations among the above axioms have widely been recognized, such as the following e.g., Peleg, 2002, section 2.1. If a simple game is weak, it is proper. A simple game is dictatorial if and only if it is strong and weak. More generally, a complete investigation of the relation among the four conventional axioms monotonicity, properness, strongness, and non weakness, finiteness, and algorithmic computability has been made Kumabe and Mahara, 2011, whose results are summarized in the table, Existence of Simple Games, below. The restrictions that various axioms for simple games impose on their Nakamura number were also studied extensively. In particular, a computable simple game without a veto player has a Nakamura number greater than 3 only if it is a proper and non-strong game. Topic: <laughs> Relation with non-cooperative theory. Let G be a strategic game. 
Then, assuming that coalitions have the ability to enforce coordinated behavior, there are several cooperative games associated with G. These games are often referred to as representations of G. The two standard representations are The alpha effective game associates with each coalition the sum of gains its members can guarantee by joining forces. By guaranteeing, it is meant that the value is the max min, e.g. the maximal value of the minimum taken over the opposition strategies. The beta effective game associates with each coalition the sum of gains its members can strategically guarantee by joining forces. By strategically guaranteeing, it is meant that the value is the min max, e.g. the minimal value of the maximum taken over the opposition strategies. Solution concepts The main assumption in cooperative game theory is that the grand coalition n will form. The challenge is then to allocate the payoff v n among the players in some fair way, this assumption is not restrictive, because even if players split off and form smaller coalitions, we can apply solution concepts to the subgames defined by whatever coalitions actually form. A solution concept is a vector x element of R n display style x in mathbound R caret n that represents the allocation to each player. Researchers have proposed different solution concepts based on different notions of fairness. Some properties to look for in a solution concept include Efficiency – the payoff vector exactly splits the total value i element of n x i equals v n Display style sum underscore i in n x underscore i equals v n. Individual rationality: no player receives less than what he could get on his own. X i v i i element of n. Display style x underscore i g e q v i foral tilde i in n. Existence: The solution concept exists for any game v. Display style v. Uniqueness: The solution concept is unique for any game v. Display style v. Marginality: The payoff of a player depends only on the marginal contribution of this player, i.e., if these marginal contributions are the same in two different games, then the payoff is the same v. S I equals W S I S N I display style V S cup I equals W S cup I foral tilde S subset ek N set minus I implies that X I display style X underscore I is the same in v display style v and in w display style w monotonicity the payoff of a player increases if the marginal contribution of this player increase v s i w s i s n Display style v s cup i l e q w s cup i foral tilde s subset ek n set minus i implies that x i display style x underscore i is weakly greater in w display style w than in v display style v computational ease the solution concept can be calculated efficiently ie in polynomial time with respect to the number of players n display style n symmetry the solution concept x display style x allocates equal payments 
x i equals x j display style x underscore i equals x underscore j to symmetric players i display style i j display style j two players i display style i j display style j a symmetric if v s i equals v s j s n i j display style v s cup i equals v s cup j for all tilde s subset ek n set minus i j that is we can exchange one player for the other in any coalition that contains only one of the players and not change the payoff additivity the allocation to a player in a sum of two games is the sum of the allocations to the player in each individual game mathematically if v display style v and omega display style omega a games the game v plus omega display style v plus omega simply assigns to any coalition the sum of the payoffs the coalition would get in the two individual games an additive solution concept assigns to every player in v plus omega display style v plus omega the sum of what he would receive in v display style v and omega display style omega zero allocation to null players the allocation to a null player is zero a null player i display style i satisfies v s i equals v s s n i display style v s cup i equals v s for all tilde s subset ek n set minus i in economic terms a null player's marginal value to any coalition that does not contain him is zero an efficient payoff vector is called a preimputation and an individually rational preimputation is called an imputation most solution concepts are imputations Topic the stable set the stable set of a game also known as the von Neumann Morgenstern solution von Neumann and Morgenstern 1944 was the first solution proposed for games with more than 2 players let v display style v be a game and let x display style x y display style y be two imputations of v display style v then x display style x dominates y display style y if some coalition s does not equal display style s neq empty set satisfies x i greater than y i i element of s display style x underscore i greater than y underscore i for all tilde i in s and i element of s x i v s display style sum underscore i in s x underscore i leq v s in other words players in s display style s prefer the payoffs from x display style x to those from y display style y and they can threaten to leave the grand coalition if y display style y is used because the payoff they obtain on their own is at least as large as the allocation they receive under x display style x a stable set is a set of imputations that satisfies two properties Internal stability – no payoff vector in the stable set is dominated by another vector in the set. External stability – all payoff vectors outside the set are dominated by at least one vector in the set. Von Neumann and Morgenstern saw the stable set as the collection of acceptable behaviors in a society, none is clearly preferred to any other, but for each unacceptable behavior there is a preferred alternative. The definition is very general allowing the concept to be used in a wide variety of game formats. Topic: Properties. 
A stable set may or may not exist Lucas 1969, and if it exists it is typically not unique Lucas 1992. Stable sets are usually difficult to find. This and other difficulties have led to the development of many other solution concepts. A positive fraction of cooperative games have unique stable sets consisting of the core Owen 1995, p. 240. A positive fraction of cooperative games have stable sets which discriminate n minus 2 display style n2 players in such sets at least n minus 3 display style n3 other discriminated players are excluded Owen 1995 p 240 topic the core let v display style v be a game the core of v display style v is the set of payoff vectors c v equals x element of r n Element of N X I equals V N I element of S X I V S S N Display style C V equals left X in math bound R carrot N sum underscore I in N X underscore I equals V N quad sum underscore I in S X underscore I G E Q V S foral tilde S subset X N right. In words, the core is the set of imputations under which no coalition has a value greater than the sum of its members' payoffs. Therefore, no coalition has incentive to leave the grand coalition and receive a larger payoff. Topic properties. The core of a game may be empty. See the Bondareva-Shapley theorem. Games with non-empty cores are called balanced. If it is non-empty, the core does not necessarily contain a unique vector. The core is contained in any stable set, and if the core is stable, it is the unique stable set. See Dreesen 1988 for a proof. The core of a simple game with respect to preferences For simple games, there is another notion of the core, when each player is assumed to have preferences on a set x of alternatives. A profile is a list p equals i p i element of n display style p equals succ underscore i caret p underscore i in n of individual preferences i p display style succ underscore i caret p on x display style x here x i p Y display style x s u c c underscore i caret p y means that individual i display style i prefers alternative x display style x to y display style y at profile p display style p given a simple game v display style v and a profile p display style p a dominance relation v p display style succ underscore v caret p is defined on x display style x 
by x v p y Display style x s u c c underscore v caret p y. If and only if there is a winning coalition s. Display style s, i.e. v s equals one. Display style v s equals one. Satisfying x i p y display style x s u c c underscore i caret p y for all i element of s display style i in s the core c v p display style c v p of the simple game v display style v with respect to the profile p display style p a preferences is the set of alternatives undominated by v p display style succ underscore v caret p the set of maximal elements of x display style x with respect to V P display style S U C C underscore V carrot P X element of C V P display style X in C V P if and only if there is no Y element of X display style Y in X such that Y V P X display style Y S U C C underscore V carrot P X. The Nakamura number of a simple game is the minimal number of winning coalitions with empty intersection. Nakamura's theorem states that the core C V P display style C V P is non-empty for all profiles p display style p of acyclic alternatively transitive preferences if and only if x display style x is finite and the cardinal number the number of elements of x display style x is less than the nakamura number of v display style v a variant by Kumabe and Mahara states that the core C V P display style C V P is non-empty for all profiles P display style P are preferences that have a maximal element if and only if the cardinal number of x display style x is less than the Nakamura number of v. Display style v. See Nakamura number for details. Topic: The strong epsilon core because the core may be empty. A generalization was introduced in Shapley and Schubach 1966. The strong epsilon display style var epsilon core for some number epsilon element of R display style var epsilon in mathbound R is the set of payoff vectors c epsilon v equals x element of R n i element of n x i equals v n i element of s x i v s minus epsilon s n display style c underscore var epsilon v equals left x in mathbound R caret n sum underscore i in n x underscore i equals v n quad sum underscore I in S X underscore I G E Q V S var epsilon foral tilde S subset N right in economic terms the strong epsilon display style var epsilon core is the set of pre imputations where no coalition can improve its payoff by leaving the grand coalition if it must pay a penalty of epsilon display style var epsilon for leaving note that epsilon display style var epsilon may be negative in which case it represents a bonus for leaving the grand coalition 
Clearly, regardless of whether the core is empty, the strong epsilon display style var epsilon core will be non-empty for a large enough value of epsilon display style var epsilon and empty for a small enough possibly negative value of epsilon display style var epsilon. Following this line of reasoning, the least core introduced in Mashula, Peleg and Shapley 1979 is the intersection of all non-empty strong epsilon display style var epsilon cores. It can also be viewed as the strong epsilon display style var epsilon core for the smallest value of epsilon display style var epsilon that makes the set non-empty Bilbao 2000. Topic: The Shapley value. The Shapley value is the unique payoff vector that is efficient, symmetric and satisfies monotonicity. It was introduced by Lloyd Shapley, Shapley 1953, who showed that it is the unique payoff vector that is efficient, symmetric, additive, and assigns zero payoffs to dummy players. The Shapley value of a superadditive game is individually rational, but this is not true in general. Dreesen 1988 The kernel Let V Two N R Display style V two carrot N two math bound R be a game and let X element of R N Display style X in math bound R carrot N be an efficient payoff vector. The maximum surplus of player I over player J with respect to X is S I J V X equals max V S minus K element of S X K S N J I element of S Display style s underscore i j carrot v x equals max left v s sum underscore k in s x underscore k s subset x n set minus j i in s right. The maximal amount player i can gain without the cooperation of player j by withdrawing from the grand coalition n under payoff vector x, assuming that the other players in i's withdrawing coalition are satisfied with their payoffs under x. The maximum surplus is a way to measure one player's bargaining power over another. The kernel of V display style V is the set of imputations x that satisfy S I J V x minus S J I V x times x j minus v j 0 display style s underscore i j caret v x s underscore g caret v x times x underscore j v j l e q 0 and s j i v x Minus S I J V X times X I minus V I zero Display style S underscore G carrot V X S underscore I J carrot V X times X underscore I V I L E Q zero for every pair of players i and j. Intuitively, player i has more bargaining power than player j with respect to imputation x if s i j v x greater than s j i v x display style s underscore i j caret v x greater than s underscore g caret v x, but player j is immune to player i's threats if x j equals v j display style x underscore j equals v j because he can obtain this payoff on his own. The kernel contains all imputations where no player has this bargaining power over another. 
This solution concept was first introduced in Davis and Mashala 1965. Topic: The nucleolus. Let V 2 N R display style v 2 caret n 2 mathbound r be a game and let x element of r n display style x in mathbound r caret n be a payoff vector the excess of x display style x for a coalition s n Display style s subset n is the quantity v s minus i element of s x i display style v s sum underscore i in s x underscore i that is the gain that players in coalition s display style s can obtain if they withdraw from the grand coalition n display style n under payoff x display style x and instead take the payoff v s display style v s now let theta x element of R two n display style theta x in math bound R caret two caret n be the vector of excesses of x display style x arranged in non increasing order. In other words, theta i x theta j x i j display style theta underscore i x g e q theta underscore j x foral tilde i. Notice that x display style x is in the core of v display style v if and only if it is a preimputation and theta one x zero display style theta underscore one x leq zero. To define the nucleolus, we consider the lexicographic ordering of vectors in R two n display style math bound R caret two caret n for two payoff vectors x y display style x y. We say theta x display style theta x is lexicographically smaller than theta y display style theta y. If for some index k display style k, we have theta i x equals theta i y i k display style theta underscore i x equals theta underscore i y for Tilde i and theta k x theta k y display style theta underscore k x. The ordering is called lexicographic because it mimics alphabetical ordering used to arrange words in a dictionary. The nucleolus of V display style V is the lexicographically minimal imputation based on this ordering. This solution concept was first introduced in Schmeidler 1969. Although the definition of the nucleolus seems abstract, Mashala, Peleg and Shapley 1979 gave a more intuitive description, starting with the least core, record the coalitions for which the right-hand side of the inequality in the definition of C epsilon v cannot be further reduced without making the set empty. Continue decreasing the right-hand side for the remaining coalitions, until it cannot be reduced without making the set empty. Record the new set of coalitions for which the inequalities hold at equality, continue decreasing the right-hand side of remaining coalitions and repeat this process as many times as necessary until all coalitions have been recorded. The resulting payoff vector is the nucleolus. <laughs> Properties Although the definition does not explicitly state it, the nucleolus is always unique. See section 2.7 of Dreesen 1988 for a proof. If the core is non-empty, the nucleolus is in the core. The nucleolus is always in the kernel, and since the kernel is contained in the bargaining set, it is always in the bargaining set. See Dreesen 1988 for details. Topic Convex cooperative games Introduced by Shapley in Shapley 1971, convex cooperative games capture the intuitive property some games have of «snowballing». Specifically, a game is convex if its characteristic function v 
is supermodular. V S T plus V S T V S plus V T S T N Display style V S cup T plus V S cap T G E Q V S plus V T Foral tilde S T subset N. It can be shown, c. e.g., section V.1 of Dreesen 1988, that the supermodularity of V display style V is equivalent to V S I minus V S V T I minus V T S T N I I element of N Display style V S cup I V S L E Q V T cup I V T Foral tilde S subset ek T subset ek N set minus I foral tilde I in N That is the incentives for joining a coalition increase as the coalition grows Shapley 1971 leading to the aforementioned snowball effect for cost games, the inequalities are reversed, so that we say the cost game is convex if the characteristic function is submodular. Topic: <laughs> Properties. Convex cooperative games have many nice properties. Supermodularity trivially implies superadditivity. Convex games are totally balanced, the core of a convex game is non-empty, and since any subgame of a convex game is convex, the core of any subgame is also non-empty. A convex game has a unique stable set that coincides with its core. The Shapley value of a convex game is the center of gravity of its core. An extreme point vertex of the core can be found in polynomial time using the greedy algorithm, let pi n n display style pi n to n be a permutation of the players and let s i equals j element of n pi j i display style s underscore i equals j in n pi j l e q i be the set of players ordered 1 display style 1 through i display style i in pi display style pi for any i equals 0 n display style i equals 0 l dots n S zero equals display style S underscore zero equals empty set. Then the payoff x element of R n display style x in math bound R caret n defined by x i equals v S pi i minus v s pi i minus one i element of n display style x underscore i equals v s underscore pi i v s underscore pi i minus one foral tilde i in n is a vertex of the core of V display style V any vertex of the core can be constructed in this way by choosing an appropriate permutation pi display style pi topic similarities and differences with combinatorial optimization 
Submodular and supermodular set functions are also studied in combinatorial optimization. Many of the results in Shapley 1971 have analogs in Edmonds 1970, where submodular functions were first presented as generalizations of matroids. In this context, the core of a convex cost game is called the base polyhedron, because its elements generalize base properties of matroids. However, the optimization community generally considers submodular functions to be the discrete analogues of convex functions because the minimization of both types of functions is computationally tractable. Unfortunately, this conflicts directly with Shapley's original definition of supermodular functions as «convex». See also Consensus decision-making Coordination game Intra-household bargaining Hedonich game